Hi, this is Kylie Koo. Welcome to my studio. So, we're continuing with the August prompt of Recycle, Repurpose and Reuse in the Mixed Media Emporium Facebook group. And I'll leave a link to the group below if you're not already a member and would like to join. So, our mini challenge for this week is to use your scraps. So I've just dug out a few of my scraps here. I've got some drop sheets, I've got some gel printed sheets, I've got the things that I took off the gel plate last week and just various other bits and pieces. A lot of these was just picking up colour off the gel plate at different points in time. Uh, sheets where I've used them as a palette. So lots of bits and pieces really just lying about. So I've picked out some of my bigger pieces today rather than my small pieces. Often with my small pieces I will use them as collage and sometimes I just stick them into a little tiny journal that I've got and sometimes I'll create kind of small master boards with them. So there's a couple of pieces there that I'm thinking of using. That piece I was using last week as well and I've got a bit of a plan for that at a future point. I can just see something in that that I think I want to create. So I'm going to use one of my gel sheets today and the reason I'm going to do this is I'd, it'd been sitting around on my work table. I love that bit with the red and the gold and I'm thinking I might use a bit of that. But this particular one here had been sitting around on my work table and that sponge that I'd used on my recent master board, I just loved the way that colour was against that gel print. Now you could say, is, is the gel print a scrap? Well, I'd already been tearing pieces out of these, so yes, I'm considering them to be scraps. And I just liked the colour on that makeup sponge, and I had a bit of an idea. So I'm going to use one of my Arteza journals. These measure about eight and a half by eight and a half, and I'm just going to decorate one of the pages. So just showing you that there, it's just over eight, maybe it's eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter, but it's there or thereabouts. Now the sun is shining at this moment, so I will do something to try and block that out a little bit. But what I want to do is to create a page that's not quite the size of the journal page. So I'm thinking maybe seven by seven. So just looking at my gel print, and thinking about, you know, will I stamp on it? So at this point, I go off to try and block out the sun a little bit. So this is quite a quick project to do, but I have put it at double speed because as I generally say, I do tend to work quite slowly. I never realise quite how slowly I work until I watch myself on film. But what I'm basically doing here is tearing my gel print into seven by seven. And I tear this next line and I realise that it's actually a little bit squint, so I've not quite got the square there. So I'll actually get out my uh, cutting board just to even that up. I just felt that once it's in the book, it might look a little bit odd. So I'm just gonna try and get that even and just cut the other pages this way while I've got it out. So I really liked this gel print. I thought it had a lot of interest in it. Uh, I think this was created with the Arteza metallic acrylics. And by the way, if you entered my giveaway for that, I'm pleased to say that Mary, the giveaway winner, has actually now claimed her prize and has received it. So I hope you enjoy using those, Mary. So just looking here at what I'm going to do, how I'm going to place it, I decide that I want the corners rounded just a little bit. So I just take a, a small corner rounder and uh, just take that kind of sharp edge off it. It doesn't make a big difference, but it just feels better to me. And when this had been lying on my desk, I'm going to just glue this down, I'm just going to use some, some glue stick to glue this down. But when this had been sitting on my desk and I'd seen the sponge there, I, I don't know, for some reason I got the idea of creating almost a kind of lotus flower type design. Now, I don't want it to be too detailed. 
because I want to retain a lot of that background because I really like the background. With gel prints I will often just use them almost in their entirety for collage and I just thought that with this journal I might actually try keeping a few pieces and using them in a similar way to this. They might not all be created in the same way but just doing something similar and you know, to me, although you never quite know what you're going to get from a gel plate, looking at that, it just feels like a nice piece of mixed media art, even though it was only using uh, the one type of paints. So just putting that down with the glue stick, making sure it's firmly in place. And for this, I'm going to use Arteza Crimson Red. That was the colour that I'd used before. And I'm just going to get my gel plate out for this. See, I've still got the leaves from the last time. I love that leaf with that bit of colour on it. That leaf, I'm saying leaf, leaf with that bit of colour on it. And I think I'm going to press that a bit further and actually use that. And, and perhaps in this journal. So there's still paint on this from the last time I used it. And I'm debating whether or not I need to lift that off or will I just go for it. And I decide just to go for it. If I get bits of blue coming in with it... Uh, those kind of dark indigo etc. I don't mind that that will be fine. So I'm just going to roll this out and I've actually got another piece of scrap paper, paper here. I just want to test the design that I'm thinking rather than going straight onto my page. I thought I better just give this a go. I have an idea but I'm not entirely certain how it will look. Now I'm trying not to press on this sponge too hard because I do want it to have that kind of distressed look. My gel print has a distressed look and so I want to continue that on and into here. As much as I want it to stand out in a way, I don't want it to be so bold that it doesn't kind of tie in with the background. So I'm just looking at where I want to place it. can't decide if I want to place it right in the centre or if I even want a little bit to overhang the edge. In the end I decide to more or less centre it. So you see, just placing it down lightly. And of course, my paint is already starting to dry in the gel plate. It's quite warm in my studio, so I had to go over that one a second time. And it's actually kind of starting to stick to the page when I'm doing that. But that's OK. Just go over it a second time. It's a easy enough shape to do. And as I say, there was just something about that colour that, for me, just went well with the colours in the background. OK, so that first test sheet will go off and I'll use that for something in future. Just taking the other piece of that paper, I'm just going to try and lift what's on the gel plate. But by this point, it's already very dry and you'll see there's not much coming up. I was going to leave it, but then I decide, no, I'll just put on a layer of the Arteza Gold, which I'm going to be using shortly anyway, and just see if I can lift a bit of that colour. I could have just left it and lifted it next time, but it was there and kind of calling to be done. So I'll take that same piece, and again I'll lift this. And again, this is just about my kind of two for one type approach. And that's lifted quite a bit of it, not at all, but you'll see it's also lifted some of that blue that was down and underneath. So that in itself will become a piece for scrap or collage. So I had been going to take a piece out of the one on the right there, but I'm thinking I might just use that one that I've just pulled because I want to create a kind of sun. And I'm thinking, will I? put some more stamping on it or will I keep it quite simple? So while I'm thinking about that I'm taking some of my Arteza Gold and all I'm going to do is to start to outline the petals of the lotus flower. Now I don't want the paint too thick although my brush was slightly wet I took a lot of the water off 
and I'm doing just a very, it, it's not a fine layer as such, but it's not a thick layer of paint by and large, albeit it does go on a little bit uneven. And I'm just going to work my way round all the petals. Not putting too much paint on my brush each time. And then just going back and putting a bit more on. And I felt this would just give the lotus just a bit of definition and help it stand out just that little bit from the background. So, you know, to do this, you don't need a gel plate, you know, a sponge uh, can just have paint applied to it directly. It's just, I, I like to pick up my paint from the gel plate, so it's handy. And then, as I say, I get my two for one, I can then pick up anything that's left on it. So, apologies, a little bit out of camera there, but here we go. And just taking my time to do this. Not looking for it to be perfect in any way at all. Because I want this to have a kind of rustic, well-worn look to it. And I'm quite happy with the way that that's starting to shape up. So I decide I'm going to just take this circle punch and punch a bit out. Now to get into the kind of piece that I was thinking about, I need to tear it out a bit, obviously, just to get the punch in there. So I punch this out. This must be one of the simplest pages of ever created, but I do like the way that it turns out in the end. And I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, I like the colour, but it feels just a little bit too small. So I'm just going to cut a bigger circle out, and just using my glue bottle there, because that's roughly the size I want. Just drew around that with a pencil, and now I'll cut it out. And there we go. And you can see the difference. Much happier with that that bigger piece. And of course it has the red and the gold, which is similar to my lotus flower. So again, just going to stick that down with a bit of glue stick. Just pushing it down. I'd lost my bone folder already. I can't believe that I'm using something one minute and it's gone the next, but there we go. So I look and I think I'm just going to put a tiny bit of gold round it. It's going to be difficult to see. Oh, I finish off my petals first, just add a little bit more to them. And I'm going to put a little bit of gold round the sun. I'm also thinking here about do I want to put it around the kind of frame of my gel print? So giving that a bit of thought. Getting a slightly smaller brush here to go around the sun. And this is actually quite hard to see because it is really gold on gold. So bringing it in a little bit. And you can just see that ever so slightly. It's more noticeable, I would say, when the light hits it and you can actually see that kind of edge to it. I could have gone round it with something dark, but on this occasion I wanted to keep it quite simple and decided that I didn't want to, to do that. So thinking again about this kind of border, this frame that I want to put around it, and I decide that I'm going to start with the red, mix a little bit of the gold in there, and I'm just going to keep the paintbrush quite dry and almost let it drag along. And I'm going to put it in just 
a few millimetres from the edge of the gel print. Not looking for this to be a thick solid line, it will be thicker in some places and much thinner in others. And I just wanted it to have that kind of an even look to it. And I'm liking there how the sun is mainly gold but has those little bits of the red through it as well. So that's worked out well. And I like it when things come together like that. You know, it's not intentional. Oops, and there a little bit of paint went astray. It never fails. There's always a little bit of paint ends up somewhere it's not supposed to. So I just take my paint rag, put a little bit of water on it, and I'm just going to try and lift that a bit. I can't rub it too hard because the paper will pill. I should say that this is a sketchbook. It's for dry media. But uh, I'm going to experiment a bit with it. I'm not going to use really wet media on it, but you know, when I'm working on top of another piece of paper like this that I've glued down, I think this is going to work very well. So just going along that top bit now with a bit of gold, not looking to get this line exactly on top of the other line, so it will be on top in places and it will will cross in other bits and it's just to bring again that kind of red and gold together. So just trying to unify the entire piece. I very much wanted this to be a kind of understated piece today. It felt like it needed to be quite simple. And, you know, for that reason, I almost stopped and thought about each stage before I went on. Uh, you know, often I will just keep going and applying things uh, because that's the way I like to work. But this time, looking for something quite straightforward. So just rolling that paint out, I'm going to try and lift it. Uh, it, it was actually drying very quickly. My studio was quite hot. You know, the sun had been beating in, so it was lovely and warm. But this won't actually lift very much this time. So that's okay. It got little tiny bits, but that will just go away for next time. So I'm now going to take this line marker and this, I think it's a Signo, I think it's Signo Hybrid Gel for the name there. can't remember it, but I think that's what it is. And like I say, I don't want to overdo it. I feel it needs a little bit of black and I'm wondering if I should put black right round the edge of that, right round the frame. Thinking about should it go round the petals or the sun, but decide against it. So I'm going to start with my white marker and all I'm going to do here are a few little dots. Definitely don't want to overwork this. So really just some dots up the centre of each petal and not even very big dots, just just little ones, just to give that little bit of added interest. Just turning my book upside down there to make sure that I don't put my hand and smudge the dots that I'd already done. And that feels just kind of right to me. I decide to go round the sun and again just little dots just on that nothing too much at all nothing elaborate but again I just feel that kind of ties it in with the lotus I then decide I'm just going to do a, a kind of third bit round there again just overlapping keeping it very sketchy and it just adds that little bit of black that to me just helps to frame the whole piece. So keeping that very simple. A couple of little lines on the petals, nothing much, nothing even very bold there, just tiny little strokes, which just brings the black into the, the painting itself. So my plan is to go through and maybe do something on each page. And that's basically it for this week. So I hope you've enjoyed it. 
do go and check out Nina's video as well and I look forward to seeing you in the Mixed Media Emporium. Take care everyone. Bye for now.